Previously on The Great Ace Attorney. Oh, yes, I totally know what she said. Your anger is so pleasing to the ear, my lady. Ah! He's just bleeding out his fucking ear holes. Ah! Oh, God! Ah! Even though I understood not a word, I'm entranced by the beauty of your voice, and so are my ear canals. Now, back to grunting at people. Hello! Go be back with some more of The Great Ace Attorney. When we last left off, we continue with the first case of the game, goddamn. Now, now we have officially, I think, reached the longest uh, case with this fourth episode. You guys also had pointed out how uh, the case for first case of Spirit of Justice was also pretty long. That one went on for at least three episodes. So I think this one might have now beaten the record for longest first case. And it's interesting so far. I, But like I said, this hasn't really been doing a whole lot that's felt different than the previous games, which has been a little disappointing to me. But I have heard from you guys that it does get better as uh, it goes on. Like things, like it starts introducing some new stuff. So it's just this first case that it really uh, just kind of Sticks to mostly the basic stuff, so okay. Well, we just have to get through this one, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll finish it this episode. I hope it doesn't take two more fucking episodes. By the way, I just also want to say, I, I saw a lot of you guys point out, like, like Nico, the whole thing with the burn mark, like, it, it really wouldn't have made sense for them to have noticed it because in the game universe, you know, why would they notice a random burn mark that doesn't seem to be related to the case at all? And, and I understand that, and I, you're right, you're, you're right. There, there wouldn't be any real reason for the characters to do that. Um, where I'm coming from really isn't frustration with the, uh, this game in particular. Um, it's just with my feelings of Ace Attorney as a whole. Like, I'm start I was starting to get a little impatient last episode because, well, one, this first case is going on for a long time. And two, like I said, the things aren't really, uh, feeling too different from previous Ace Attorneys, you know? I, I was, I will say, kind of hoping that this game would feel like, like, do something totally different, you know? Like, the, the mechanics would be totally revamped from previous Ace Attorney games, and it would be just something like, like, oh, man, wow, that's, like, like totally, like, breaking the mold from uh, other games. And, I mean, it hasn't so far. So far, all right? I, I, I want to stress that. And, um, you know, it's, I played through, th this is my ninth Ace Attorney game, by the way. Ninth. Holy shit. I didn't even realize I'd play that many of these games. So as someone who's, you know, has played these for a long time, I realized someone could be playing this game for the first time, in which case it'd be fine. But as someone as a long time player, it's a little grindy for me. You know, it's a little it's a little like like been there, done that. And some moments like that, like the moment of the, the photo with the with everyone looking at one thing and the other thing is like supremely obvious to me as the player. It just, it starts to kind of grind on me. And, you know, and if this were my third, fourth, even fourth Ace Attorney game, it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. But as the ninth one, it just starts to kind of be like, like, why the fuck doesn't anyone notice this shit, you know? Feels like everyone here is fucking stupid. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I understand. I'm I'm not saying that. Part of me kind of wishes it was just like a little less obvious, but so it wasn't so like, I don't know, just in your face. Because there really wasn't anything else in that picture, right? Except for... The guy's arm with a massive mark on it and i understand what you guys are saying but i still see that and i go like like what the fuck you guys see that shit they even the detective did say that he actually did inspect it but didn't think it had anything to do with the case but as we've shown <laughs> fairly easily it does have something to do with the case so it still does feel like you know that feeling of uh ineptitude for the police department or the detectives which is something that always happens in certain cases but then you know phoenix or whoever the lead character is going to come out and save the fucking day themselves and, uh, you know, I, I get it. It just, sometimes it can be just a little frustrating to me at this point as a longtime player. One other thing I also want to throw out, too, is uh, some of you might might not feel that way at all when playing these games. And uh, I, I, I sort of just want to say, try looking at it from my perspective. I, I think it's partially because I've let's played all these games, too. So I've let's played a grand total of eight of these Meaning that, you know, I've, I've recorded, I do, I read out everything, I do a bunch of ad-libs, but I also have to go in and I have to re-edit that, that same footage, meaning I basically have to go back and rewatch what I just did again. So, I don't know, maybe I'm just extra exasperated by, uh, just Ace Attorney is kind of sticking to the, the tried and true formula. Um, uh, I don't know, but... That's just how I feel, you know, I'm, again, I'm not trying to shit on this game in particular, it's just a bit of Ace Attorney burnout, still lingering, um, and like I said, it's gonna really honestly go away if they start doing some totally different shit, so, and from what I hear, it's gonna happen at some point, so, um, anyway, that's just how, that's just my feelings on that, but anyway, last episode, uh, five, five, 61 said, uh, trivia number three. So the pun in Giselle Brett's name is as follows. Giselle is the type of bullet that shot John Watson in the leg in the canon of Sherlock Holmes, while Brett is 
both a play on the word bullet while also referencing Jeremy Brett, the actor who played Sherlock Holmes in the 1984 TV series. In other words, Giselle Brett could be read as Giselle Bullet, which means that a Giselle Bullet injured Dr. Watson, just like in the Sherlock's home canon. That is really clever, actually. That is super clever. God damn. I, I brought up last episode, I, I sort of kind of glossed over the with the Giselle Brett thing, but I couldn't remember what it was. And that's actually, like, way more fucking clever than I'd, I'd, I'd even realized. Like, god damn. That's pretty cool. So, and then, of course, she's the one that killed, uh... I, I guess th they are kind of going with that this is the Watson, right? Actually, yeah. If I look in here... Is, is, was his name John Watson? It is! This is, like, that Watson, huh? Is there a Sherlock Holmes somewhere, then? So, okay, that's, that's honestly super clever. <laughs> that's, like... That might be one of the most clever puns, honestly, that I've seen. It's not just like, this name sounds like this word or this phrase or something. It's like, that's like some deep lore in that name. I like that. But Pop Off, uh, thank you so much for sharing that with us. And your insightful comment is the reason why you are <coughs> comment of the day. Oh, by the way, I also want to bring up, uh, if you haven't been keeping up with my social media, we have finally released uh, brand new t-shirts. And it's not being done with uh, Teespring this time. No, this time we're actually, I'm actually collaborating with uh, Yoshi, the uh, our uh, resident plushie maker. Um, and we're uh, doing this as a, a joint venture. So she's actually uh, printing the shirts uh, by hand herself. But we've just released the uh, brand new uh, Take Your Time to You shirts. Featuring the uh, picture you guys might recognize if you've uh, watched any of my live streams. I used for my, my Be Right Back message. But uh, it was, it's a great piece of artwork. I, I absolutely loved it. It's done by a picky penguin by the name of Zaytara, who's made me some amazing fan art over the years. And the shirts came out great. I'm still waiting for mine to arrive, so when I do, I'll definitely post pictures of it. But if you guys want one of your own, they are available over on our site. A link should probably pop up in the top right corner there. Or there's a link to the main website where we also sell the plushies as well. So we're it's where you can get the plushies and the t-shirts. So you click that, you can find it down there as well. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have any, if you end up buying one, uh, I'd love to see pictures of you guys wearing them. So make sure to tweet at either me or Yoshi. We would both love to see it. All right, so we finally got this lady to talk. So now I'm hoping we're... Uh, I, I, I feel like we're going to pull her mask off, right? She, her eyes are going to be like, I don't know, like evil looking or something. They're hiding the eyes here, like for a reason. And it's it's going to be like, she's a fucking demon. Or maybe she's a, maybe she's a shadow. Joker's going to come out and be like, now reveal your true form. <laughs> ah! All right, the victim's death. Unfortunately, I do not know when the, the doctor burned himself. I simply enjoy my piece stick and shed a toast with him. Remember? The post-mortem states that he was killed with a gun. What else can I say? If they're just a waiting queue without leaving a trace, then show it to me. But your inexperienced investigators couldn't possibly produce any new evidence, surely. A Ouch! But Bob, some of you were like, Nico, I don't understand what the, the point of them examining the bag was when you can clearly see inside of it. What I was saying was like, they, they said I didn't even bother to open it, you know, and look in there. What I mean, it's like there could have been like a secret compartment or something maybe where they hid the gun. Just saying, oh, I look on it and I could see, oh, there's, there's, it's just a, there's a glass there. I could see through it. There's nowhere else it could be. Instead of not even like touching it and like feeling it and looking around in it. That just seems lazy to me. That's, that's what I was trying to say. And there was a secret compartment in it. I mean, there probably isn't, right? I, I don't think that's where this is going. But uh, I'm just, I'm just saying... That's what I meant. That was the most beautiful testimony that has ever graced this court. Wow, okay, I am still sucking up to you, even though you are insulting the shit out of everyone here. You're giving her way too much praise. Oh, and you guys also pointed out that this really was actually kind of true Um, back then. Uh, that Japan really did sort of try to suck up to both England and actually the United States as well. Because they were still a uh, sort of a budding superpower, right? They were like... They were kind of getting there, but they wanted to make sure they made friends with everybody because, you know, on their own, they still couldn't really, like, take on these big Western uh, uh, countries. I hope this to be the final time I'm forced to speak in this barbaric language. My, I do sincerely apologize if I have offended you. Wow, this chick's... <laughs> you bitch! I, I mean, not all! Being blessed with such words fills me with joy! Ha! <laughs> I knew all along that the bar mark had nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. I'm sure your Minister of Justice would love to hear all about today's trial. I can't wait to see her start freaking out. M Minister of Justice? I'd like to see that bothersome hoodlum of a student over there. Receives an increased punishment for his substantiated accusations. Amen. Uh, uh, wow. Thanks. 
she just say amen? Speaking of bothersome, we're ready for the next cross-examination. I'm sure you've already noticed that this bothersome hoodlum is actually quite exceptional. You're going down, lady! You shouldn't need reminding that this will be your final chance at a cross-examination. Should there be no issues with the following testimony, you're gonna die today! Then this will truly be the conclusion of the trial. Do you understand, attorney? Whatever, still just a tutorial case. <gasps> ah! Ow! Oh my god, that hurt like a mother fluffer. No, I mean, uh, y yes, your honor. <laughs> Holy shit, he's like the fuck out of them cheeks. Slap my thighs and call me not oh, no! Very well then, you may proceed with the cross-examination. Alright, bring it on, ouchie. And lady. Okay. Unfortunately, I do not know when the doctor burned himself. I simply enjoy my beef steak and share a toast with him, remember? Hi! Hi! Hold it! He just testified a minute ago that it was with carbonated water, right? At the time, Dr. Watson was only allowed to drink liquids. Because of that, he ordered a carbonated water. Isn't that right, head waiter? Yes, I'm sure of it. You are correct. However... However... As for whether the doctor had drunk any water when I carried the beast stick over... I have no memory of that. Hmm... <laughs> oh, man! God damn you! You fucking bitch! Oh, I know what that means! May God's blessings be upon you, right? Of course! No, I said fuck him and fuck you too, Baldy! I'm pretty sure it's the exact opposite of what it means. Uh, anyway... I heard the postmortem states that he was killed with a gun. Uh, Nuggets, where did I put that paper? That's right, it's written in the report. Bled to death after a single shot in the chest. Yes. Fortunately, humans can't die from minuscule burn wounds. And besides that, if no trace of any other cause of death was found on the body... HA! Then nothing but the bullet you fired could have killed the victim! But, but... If this burn is from the iron plate, it would have been shortly after it reached the table. That's right. If it had cooled off even a little bit, it wouldn't have been able to leave a burn. And if the burn did come from touching the plate, then naturally, at that time, he would have already been dead. Idiot! However, the reality is that the victim died from a gunshot wound, dumbass. So as long as you have no evidence to refute that, your argument is meaningless. Indeed, Prosecutor Ouchie is correct. Yeah. I was gonna say, if there's no other way to kill without leaving a trace, then show it to me. Without a trace? Whether you shoot with a gun, strangle, stab with a knife, or push someone down. When you take someone's life, there's always a trace left behind. Indeed, that is correct. Our police force investigate everything. I can say with absolute certainty, we totally aren't in incapable of doing our jobs properly. Really? Right, Detective Osanaga? I strive for the most absolutely thorough investigation to the best of my ability. There's no doubt that the average murderer would leave it behind a trace on the corpse. But is there any method that would be an exception to that rule? So, some poison, maybe? Wait, but, but no, but... She just she just said poison, didn't she? No, oh, she didn't say poison. I, although, that, you still, that still would technically leave, like, a something in the bloodstream. If perhaps by any chance you suspect me, then I would have to request you show me the means by which I killed the doctor. But that's out of the question, isn't it? Don't be absurd! The very nerve is suspecting a lovely British woman of such a thing! Such an insolent fellow! I out you shall slice him in two! With my fan! What kind of murder method won't leave a trace? If you want to prove it, you'll need some sort of evidence. Evidence. Evidence! Your inexperienced investigators couldn't possibly produce any new evidence, could they, the fucking bitches? Hi. What exactly do you mean by inexperienced? In the British Empire, all evidence left at the scene is preserved and investigated by police. But in this country, investigations are one and done affairs, correct? 
Yes, La Quantos is running is running business as usual today. That's why, even if the situation changes, you wouldn't be able to file new evidence. <laughs> oh! What was that reaction? And your inexperienced investigators didn't find a single shadow of a doubt. Isn't it nice? It's just so, how do I say this, magnanimous. Ha! That hits right where it hurts! Those were stay my lady! Somehow, that prosecutor feels like he's trying to act like a big shot. I'm pretty sure it's just your imagination. Though, Giselle's testimony just now. Yeah. For just a moment, I feel like something was trying to jump out at me. Okay, okay, now I think we're starting to actually get into something new here. What do you think, Naruhodo? I can't do it, I'm gonna die! No matter how much I press her, I can't get anything useful. That's no surprise. She's clearly very stubborn. But if we don't take action now, this cross-examination is over. No. Can I even find a single clue? It's really impossible to tear down that foreign Bell's testimony. Hey, Asogi. What is it, Narahodo? There's actually one thing that bothers me. What bothers you? Is it that lady? Well, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not her. It's the one next to her, Detective Osanaga. The detect the, the detective. In that last testimony, I feel like his reaction was pretty unusual. Okay. Maybe if I point out the good detective's reaction, he'll spill the beads. That's it. I've got an idea. Maybe if you press him while he's do while he's doing that, he'll spill the beads. So I just said it, Sogi. Try pressing that lady's final statement one more time. Huh? This time our target isn't that stoic lady, but rather that detective standing next to her. Oh, I understand. Sogi must be onto something. I understand, except I don't know what. Even though I just said it. I'll try pressing your last name one more time. Here we go. Here comes Darcy. All right. Unfortunately, booga, 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 booga. Wait a minute. Did I click his, his little bubble or something? That's it. Detective reacted to Giselle's testimony. Up until a short while ago, that detective was on the witness stand as her interpreter. But now, the situation has changed completely. Detective Osanaga is now in a position to listen to her testimony. Maybe this is the chance we've been waiting for. B what do you mean? Whenever someone takes a stand to testify, they try not to show any weaknesses. However, when listening to someone else's words, they let their guard down. I see. He's completely lost in thought. Look at him looking at the blood coming out of his freaky insides. Now, why don't we try questioning that detective? Quest question him? Narhodo, have a look at the screen. The screen? <laughs> yes, the screen of my life! Right now, the lady testifying is our focus. Hey, all right, this is something new. If we slide the cursor, we can look at someone else. Then while you're looking at another person, the option to question will appear. Pushing them while their guard is down might give you some new information. If anything seems strange, don't hesitate to change your focus. Remember that. Yeah, what you're saying is I gotta shoot lasers at my eyes. <laughs> what, no, <laughs> okay, here I go, No, we're not doing that anymore, shut up. First I slide the cursor and look at the detective, then I question. All right, let's give it a go. Here comes Naruto. If the situation changed, wouldn't be able to file new evidence. <laughs> Slide the cursor. Slide it. There we go. Uh. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> what is this? What's the meteor? <laughs> oh, I killed him. S sorry, I didn't think I would startle you that much. Wow, I completely bypassed his defenses. This technique is more powerful than I thought. Whoa! Building yellow people is way more powerful than I thought! Ah! <laughs> yes. Now, it's, now it seemed like you were deep in thought about something. Maybe the lovely lady next to you helped you remember something. Um, if there's anything you'd like to say, please tell us. Hey, Shut up! <laughs> what? 
What? Just, what is this? No! Don't you demon say anything to Kaya Hosanaga! Huh? Well, not fun. Did you forget who's test five right now? Just because there's another person up there doesn't mean they're allowed to talk. If you have no problem with what she said, then this cross-examination is over! Oh, okay. That's not going to fly. What now? Ha! As long as he's still on the stand, Detective Hosnaga still qualifies as a witness. Yeah, ow! Also, he is directly related to the case, too. Detective Hosnaga. Yes, Your Honor. Is there anything you wish to say in regards to the testimony just now? Very well then, if your honor must ask, I do- I believe I do have something to say. I should like the far, Kosanaga! It is true that the Imperial Police's investigations are still inexperienced compared with Britain. But I, myself, Hosanaga, I live my life by the motto, if you plan to investigate, do it to the utmost perfection. Perfection? Therefore I, myself, Hosanaga, took from the crime scene everything I could get my hands on. All in the name of crime scene preservation. Call me a crime scene thief if you must, but I, I still did it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that against the law? I don't know, do we even have a law yet? You're a crime scene thief? Her insults must have struck a nerve somewhere deeper than the detective. For example, this. No! No, damn it! Give me that! Th that's... Isn't that... It's the bottle of carbonated water I brought to the victim's table that day. I, I, I bet she poisoned him. Now, three days later, it's just regular water. But this was once carbonated water. Let no one say otherwise. All right, you know you won't believe me, but there was bubbles in this. It's like there's some water, some water left in that bottle. I swear, in this imminent new age, our country's police will become the world's best. I, Osanaga, believe that from the bottom of my heart. And then we see, then we cut it to Gumshoe like hundred years in the future. <laughs> He's just fucking sneezes. Ah, ah. Oh, that was weird. Guess what? Something, somebody says something incredibly positive about our, our detective force. Shut the hell up, Gumshoe. You're fucking useless to me. You just gave me evidence suggesting that the, that this woman was killed with a with a rubber chicken. It was a very sharp rubber chicken, sir. I'm going to have your fucking head, Gumshoe. You get over here. No, sir. No. Come back here, Gumshoe. No. No, sir. Ah! <laughs> Stop coughing on my witness stand. I don't understand the witness himself, but I certainly understand stood his claim. Court accepts that beautiful glass bottle as evidence. All right, Swirly Water, Giselle, and the victim were drinking on the day of the incident. It was on the victim's table. Hmm. If I may say, Miss Brett. Okay, can I examine this, or I have to wait for this to tell me to before I can examine it? Nope, I can do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. This label is written in a foreign language that I've never seen before. It's called English. English, wow. What does it say, Asogi? It appears to be French. This is some kind of luxury item. But what does it say? Go to France and ask them. You could have just said you- I could have said you didn't know. At the time, Dr. Watson was drinking the carbonate water. There's still a little bit left, but it's probably flat by now. Oh, speaking of which, my throat is a little dry. Maybe I should drink some of this to soothe my throat. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, Naruto. At the very least, you shouldn't drink the evidence for our case. Yeah, you're right. It could murder me. After all, we don't know if there's anything in it. You're always full of surprises. It's carbonate water. We don't know if there's anything in it. I wonder. What's wrong, Naruto? You went silent all of a sudden. Maybe... I've just found another possibility. Okay, is that... Maybe I gotta wait for the, the game to do something. Hmm, if I may, Miss Brett. Is this without a doubt what the victim was drinking with you on that day? No. Yes, that very glass bottle. I feel like... Just now, it looked like she tried to avert her eyes. Very well then, let's get back to the cross-examination. Detective, please, try to keep to yourself, to yourself together. 
Okay. Okay, blah, 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 blah. All right, what else can I say? All right, now present the bottle. Time to demon die, bitch. Hi Boom! Go around to smack her over the head with it. Bah! This is the glass bottle from earlier that we literally just got. There's only one way the victim could have been killed without leaving a trace. At least, I guess not traced by uh, our, our primitive Meiji era methods. Of course, that would be poison. Poison? That day, Dr. Watson took a drink of this carbonated water. The liquid inside the bottle could have easily contained poison. And when the doctor drank it, that's when he died. Shut the hell up, everybody! Order, order, order in the court! Ah, oh, there we go! Who could have poisoned his drink? Maybe it was something someone was sitting at his table. Only one person fits that description. Of course, that person would be. Here I go. Mr. Zilbret, you poisoned Dr. Who wants it! In the attic! You little shithead! How dare you make such wild basis conjectures! Even a mere schoolboy like you should understand the position of our empire's in! Will I sign the Japanese Anglo Alliance Treaty? Do you intend to destroy this historical relationship with your bad accusations? Idiotty. This is no place for politics. This is a court to judge criminal sins. What are you saying, you dumbass? We're all gonna die! Where she's from is irrelevant. Whether she's guilty or not is all that matters. Ah! Excuse me, may I interject? I, Ouchie, will forcibly sign so. Oh! Shut the fuck up! The one who should be silenced is you. Oh, yes, ma'am. Please spare me! Step on me, senpai! Yes, ma'am! She said, shut up. What in the world? So the air feels so tense, I can feel her energy. Oh, boy, here we go. Please excuse my early remark. I fear it was quite rude. I sincerely apologize from the bottom of my heart. What remark would you be referring to? I call the Japanese police inexperienced. But even with their lack of experience, I'm sure they at least conducted a proper investigation. Surely they investigated whether or not this bottle was laced with poison. Of course we did. Huh? As I had stated earlier, I always strive for perfection. It is my life's goal. Then? Naturally, we have inspected the contents of this glass bottle. My word! And what are the results? After analyzing it against all poisons known to our country, our conclusion is... This carbonate drinks contains no poison whatsoever. What? Are you absolutely sure? That's the conclusion reached by the Chief Imperial Medical Examiner himself. What? Ah, I'm dead. Okay. Please allow me to express my sincere gratitude to the people of this country. They so graciously proved my innocence. I'm truly in your debt. Uh, of course we did, but it's all part of the job, my lady. No thanks necessary. Ah, uh, bummer. How could this be? This is ridiculous. If he was poisoned, then all the pieces of this puzzle would fit together perfectly. Unless the water was dumped and replaced with other water. Or something. It would seem that all has been made clear with this, with this cross-examination. Other than this pistol, there were no other available means to murder the doctor. Therefore, the one who committed this crime could only be the defendant who was holding the weapon in his own hand. This really is the end of the line for me. I do deeply apologize for taking up your time, Miss Brett. There is no need for apologies, just as long as everyone knows the truth. Defense, there is one thing I would like to confirm with you. Do you have any other new evidence that you wish to present? Yeah. Uh, Sogi? You got this right, man? Um, I'm sorry, Naruto. We have nothing left. Well then, I will take my leave of you all. Looks like we'll have to turn the case over! Oh!
Hi! Holy shit, where did you come from? Hi! Um... I must... I must ask for your patience. I remember her. Who was that? Who the hell is that? What are you doing in my courtroom? I'm deeply sorry for interrupting this trial. I'm a legal assistant. My name is Suzato Mikotoba. Suzato? Suzato! Mikotoba? Oh, okay. So, daughter of the other uh, guy? She appeared calm and dignified in our dis desperate final moments. In her hands, she held a small bag envelope, enveloped in cloth. Well, am I, am I suddenly narrating what's happening? From the- WHAT THE HELL WAS IT TO BE CONTINUED?! Ah! Oh, no way! Uh, okay, well that's way too fucking early. Not yet! It's not over yet! Ah, oh, nuggets. Wow, okay, they had two to be continues in a, in a first trial. Yeah, this is fucking long. No, we're still going, though. Alright. November 22nd, 1.14 p.m., Spring Court, Court number two! And what business do you have here, legal assistant? Ha! And I was actually starting to worry. This is the legal assistant. A woman, even! Excuse me, motherfucker! What? It's 2019, bitch! Get to your place, LG! No, it isn't! It's fucking Bajira! You think I give a shit? We were all sexist as fuck back then. First and foremost, there is this is no place for women in the Supreme Court except for that British lady. I'm well aware of that. Please, just spare me five minutes of your time. There's a piece of evidence I must deliver to the defense. Ha! Too late! This trial is already over! Say, say for the sentencing. You get five minutes and not a second more. You're out here! Come on, man! Thank you very much. She's pretty. I really like her, her design. Oh, wow, it's getting a little crowded up here. Are you my new Maya? Who? I mean, what? Uh, who are you? There's no time to explain. There's no time! Hurry, take this. It's written in English. It's like some kind of report. These are Giselle Brett's research notes. They belong to her? Earlier, after the recess ended, I went to the Imperial Yuma University. I borrowed these from Dr. Watts' laboratory. I see. And this woman really was doing research with the doctor. Are you applying this research to something to do with the incident? I don't know. After all, I was here to listen to the trial. Oh, that's right. Characteristics, reactions to, and effects on the human body of a cure, cure, of, of curare. Curare? What is that? I've never heard of it. Time's up! It has not been five minutes, ouchie. I demand this malcontent le legal assistant be removed from the court at once. I hadn't the time to do more than a glance over the document, but I did provide a simplified summary of its contents at the front. Please take a look through it for yourselves, if you would like. Got it, thank you so much. Get in my pocket. This guy's a poison still unknown in Japan. Well, what do you fucking know? Now then, I wish you good fortune. Hmm. Well, there we go. Let's have a little looksy doodle. Uh, periphery fine. Now classified as stry Strychnos toxifera. It is only known to grow in the jungles of the Amazon. Since ancient times, the natives of that land have used it to hunt. Effect: Even a very small dosage instantly paralyzes all muscles in the body. A fatal and deadly poison. Conditions: The poison is effective when it enters the body through a wound. Such as that inflicted by a blow dart. Or a fucking burn mark, right? Since its effect par paralyzes all muscles in the body, it is being considered for use as an anesthetic. But due to paralysis of, of the body, allowing patients to breathe it is a problem that would need to be resolved. It's time. Fare thee well. Wow, she was a ghost the whole time. We cannot keep our British guest waiting any longer. I will ask you one last time. Does either the prosecution or defense wish to present any more evidence? No! I, I answer for them. Of course not! This trial already has more enough evidence! Naruhodo, you no longer have the liberty of choice. 
This is quite literally your final chance. Yeah, I know. It's time. Ah, yeah, I'm slamming good now. Your Honor, please allow us to present this piece of evidence. I recognize that fire in your eyes. That's the steadfast fire of a Japanese man who doesn't know the meaning of our retreat. Reminds me of my youth. Witness, Brett, Miss Brett, may I ask you a question? Oh dear, what? Would you be willing to stay with us just a short while longer? I do appreciate the invitation. But it's almost time for my afternoon tea, thus I'll have to excuse myself. Miss Brett, I ask politely out of respect towards you and your homeland. You may not have understood me, but I will not take no for an answer. <laughs> Dude, I fucking like this new judge. Holy shit. All judge you can, can be kind of a pussy at times, alright? This guy's like, don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. I can't help but think. You Japanese all defy basic logic. I'm sorry to impose, my lady. But you sit your skinny white ass right there. Now, attorney, present new evidence that you believe warrants further investigation. Now it's time. Booyah! Sell Brett. It appears you were conducting research in Dr. Watts's research facilities. So the fuck what? And what's more, you happen to be researching a deadly poison. Strange coincidence, eh? What? what? Oh, come on! D deadly poison? What's the meaning of this? Its name is Curare. It is a deadly poison that requires only a small dose to cause certain death. Idiot! What? what manner of joke is this? You must have gone to deep end! What kind of fucking crack are you snorting, man? C career I've never heard of this poison like that! Of course you haven't. What? There's no reason that you would know what it is, after all. Until today, this poison was never known to exist in the Japan Japanese Empire. It was never known to exist. Yes, in other words, the Imperial Police can examine all they like, but they never be able to detect this poison. Ha! Ah, simply because... The methods to detect it haven't been developed in Japan! Order! Order! Order in the court! Do poisons as terrifying as that really exist? According to this, these research documents written as Miss Brett. By Miss Brett, the hunting tribes of South America have used this poison to hunt since ancient times. To the researchers and medical students in, the, in Europe, this seems to be common knowledge. They hunt with poison? The barbarians! It is a deadly poison extracted from the bark of trees that grow in the Amazon jungles. It was discovered after explorers brought, brought some back to Europe. If you were to be hit by a blow dart smear with this, its poison would kill you instantly. Isn't that right, miss? Yeah, your claims are all nonsense! First off, if the victim was poisoned, then he would have been with writhing in pain! Everyone in Laquatos would have noticed! Hmm. Indeed. Your thoughts, detective. Except it paralyzed them. Certainly, if a man was writhing in pain, I would have been on the scene immediately. Come to think of it, I don't remember the doctor being in pain. According to these documents, the complete opposite should should be expected. Uh, what? The opposite? The victim did not exhibit any manner of being in pain. That in itself could be evidence that career was used. What do you mean by that? Ex please explain. The instant this poison enters the body, it will it paralyze all muscles. In other words, we will lose the ability to move any of your limbs. Okay, where, where's this written down, Asogi? I just, I'm, I'm looking through all these papers. Why, why can't we ever organize this stuff? What, is this page 35? We have 35 pages of this thing? What the heck? Even if the victim fell in any pain, he or she would not be able to express it. My word. Of course, if he lost control of his muscles, the victim would collapse. However, Used, used a chair to prop the body up. Any bystander would be none the wiser. But Asogi, there's something I don't quite understand. How does paralyzing only the muscles result in instant death? You might regret asking that question. Of 
course if it can, can no longer move once the poison takes hold. Remember, your respiratory system needs to be used muscles as well. Poison pre prevents that. Then you wouldn't be able to breathe? In short, the most accurate cause of death would be suffocation. For several minutes, the victim is still unconscious, but unable to move or cry for help. That's a fucked up way to go. Inconceivable! Inconceivable! To many out onlookers, it would seem like a painless, sleep-like instant death. But for the victim, I can Im couldn't imagine a more cruel death. That's the truth of Curare. All right, lady, ready, ready to take the mask off? This glass bottle. Does it really contain that cruel, deadly poison? That's that's enough. That's just for you. We don't know the poison, so we can't detect it. Don't play games with me. Excuse me. May I speak? A student quibbling with the nonsensical theories. Have you learned so? so Quiet. The one who ought to be le learning is you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Shut the fuck up. Is this how you Japanese always handle things? What do you mean? Stealing a lady's research documents, waving them around as if they were your discovery. Barbaric is a strong enough word to describe you monsters. Rest assured that we feel the same way about you. Why would you fit the ants think you could look down on me? Taking advantage of those less learned to get away with murder. That sounds barbaric enough to me. Do you agree? Millie, they're disagree. <laughs> All that aside, I ouchie refuse to accept your claims. You claim this fair lady is the wield arrow poison we don't even know of. What a farce! <laughs> What's so funny? Excuse me, Your Honor, was it? Yeah, yes, Miss Brett. May I borrow that glass bottle for a moment? Yes, suppose that's fine, sure. I'm gonna dispose of this. Oh, you don't have it anymore! You don't have your evidence! I win! Oh. He's gonna pour a bottle. And she's gonna drink it. But she could have maybe given herself an antidote or like something to make herself immune to it. You little Japanese cretins shouldn't learn to not be so conceited. What are you on about now? From a British woman's perspective, this farce is nothing more than child's play. Fortune police, in a petulant husk of court, is laughable. But it's about time we end this childish game. Bottoms up! Cheers! Mmm! Ah! Uh, what are you doing? So delish. She just falls the fuck over. Hmm. Mere carbonated water, now flat. Fitting indeed for such a dull court as this. Did she just drink the evidence? <laughs> That's some Tagami level shit right there. Don't give a fuck. Oh my, what's the matter? You all look like you've seen a ghost. Then, there was no cure air inside that glass bottle. <laughs> Your face tells me that you can't believe it. But that's the truth. I must thank you for presenting the results of my research in your Supreme Court. Duh. You've done a fine job, little boy. Now, Your Honor. Dramatic music! Oh, y yes, ma'am. May I finally take my leave this time? I think I've cooperated with you enough for one day, if it's for the sake of our empires. I apologize, my lady. What's gonna express my gratitude? Ah, uh, noodles! That's impossible. There had to be a bit of poison inside the bottle. So then, how? How could she drink it all and still be standing there, alive and well? I don't understand. I'm 
glad I had the chance to enjoy this one act comedy here on this tiny island in the Far East. My friends in Britain are sure to laugh at this lovely little story. Did that bottle contain poison or not? If it did, why is she still standing? Wait a minute. I should already have all the clues needed to answer this question. Is there really a deadly poison contained within that bottle? I think it was saying they can only go through wounds, right? When does it buy through a wound? So there's an inflicted blow dart. So maybe it would still work then. There is. The culprit lays Dr. Watson's carbonated water the cure air. I know. The vets insist on this claim. What? Idiotic! You amateur, what are you getting at now? There's no way the bottle could have had any poison in it. Just because she drank it of her own volition? Indeed, it's an obvious contradiction. There may very well be an explanation for that contradiction. What? What? Let's think about this mystery, step by step. The answer must be in the court record. Now, defendant. No, you deserve to be called an attorney. Ace attorney. No, great ace attorney. I ask that you present your evidence. Why is the witness still standing after drinking water laced with cure air? Behold. Hi. You silly nuggets just need to read the rest of the report. The answer we need is, of course, within the witness's research documents. Although, you sort of, sort of think, would that still get in your bloodstream that way? But, like, if you go in an open wound, as opposed to just consuming it, I mean, right? It still kind of goes to the same place, I think. Like, absorbs into your bow. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Just, just roll it. That couldn't give us any kind of answer. Uh? After all, this document in the English language are impossible for us to understand! Despite us speaking it right now! You impertinent amateur, do not dare ridicule me! You think I know it? I'll speak English? I'm not trying to ridicule you. I'm not putting on airs. Indeed, this document is far too large for us to read here. Defense, it's just you be more specific. Where in this document is the answer we seek? Uh, the uh, conditions or characteristics. Yep, there we go. Up until now, I've heard a lot. <laughs> Wait, Your Honor, it's three pages long, for God's sake. <laughs> Up till now, I've heard a lot about Cure Air. And there's just one thing that caught my attention. And what was that? Primitive tribes use this poison to hunt. They smear blow darts with poison before shooting their prey. Indeed, that seems correct so far. Naturally, these hunters proceed to eat their kills, right? Ah. Uh. So what are you getting at? Think about it. The carcass still has traces of the poison in, in the, its blood. That's right. Normally, people wouldn't eat meat tainted with poison, right? You can say that again. I wouldn't dream of eating something like that. That's when I realized. In this document, there's an explanation under characteristics. It says the symptoms only occur when the poison enters through a wound. A, a wound? Spe the specificity of it caught my eye. In other words, the truth to be discerned from this document is this. Cure air, when entered through a wound, is a deadly poison. However, yeah! When ingested, cure air is completely harmless. What? Miss Brett! You knew of Carrere's special characteristics. That's why you could drink it at all with such overflowing confidence. How about instead we cut you open and, and squeeze it into you instead? You impotent little. <sighs> oh! Damned brat! Oh, the swan lives! I knew it! Oh my god, that thing's alive! Narahodo. Did you see that swan? No, I saw you being an awesome. I'm serious, a swan. Is anyone seeing that? Why is anyone commenting about it? You've, you're foxing my expectations. You really do have potential as an attorney. Asogi. Ah, oh, yes, my favorite line. Guys, seriously, this first case, he said that line. Asogi. A lot. <laughs> Fucking a lot. Do I? An attorney? Idiotic! As if such convenient poison actually exists in the first place! That's just a convenient plot point. Shut up! Look, an ignorant little monkey thinks he's grasped real intelligence for the first time. 
But all you can do is swing it around and it play like a, like a new toy. Cut to the chase, bitch. There's a fatal contradiction in that sloppy claim of yours, little boy. L little boy? C contradiction As you may have guessed, Korea is a poison that's safe to drink. We believe that it's neutralized when it's reacted with stomach acid. Oh, okay. T totally makes sense, doesn't it? Is this about stomach acid? However, it is safe to drink this deadly poison. If it is safe to drink, wouldn't the good doctor survive drinking it? Ah! Uh, okay, so this is where the this is where the burn mark comes into play. Indeed! That makes sense. We civilized people call this science. Do you follow so far, little boy? Oh, I follow, all right. Order! Order! Order in the court! Shut up, stupid, faceless people! If both of them, if both of them drink the same poison, and naturally the results be, would be the same, th then that means this poison called Korea has nothing to do with the incident. Exactly. Even that should be comprehensible to a little boy left behind by civilization. I can see it. No. <laughs> what is this feeling? I can feel it. Something welling up inside me. Something I've never felt before. The conviction to stand against contradictions. A feeling like righteous anger. Righteous anger! Oh, yeah! Oh, I'm ascending to the next level. This is what I call a great ace attorney. I'll strike with all I have. And I'll start with the tip of my finger. Time to corner my prey. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Ah! Idiotic! Oh, he said it. He finally said oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Objection! Don't play stupid, Giselle, you little British slut. Where did that fire in your eyes come from? No! No! You always already know the answer. Even if both you and the victim drank from the very same bottle. You already know why only the victim died. You know the reason for this contradiction. I order you to present your evidence, attorney. You better have a damn good explanation after that fucking kick-ass point you just did. If our witness can drink this so-called deadly poison without batting an eye. Why did only the victim succumb to the poison? Tell me! Tell me! Let's see that picture. Behold. No. Boo! Take that! I'm not so sure that I can trust this evidence. Especially when you even you look skeptical as you thrust it toward me. Huh? Hey, now, Hodo, don't overthink it. Carrera's a poison that is only dangerous when it enters the blood through a wound. So in other words, when Dr. wants to drink his carbonate water, he must have had some kind of wound that- Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, I thought we were saying his his actual burn wound. No, his, his actual, the t because of he uh, got that tooth removed. Exactly. Evidence that there was a wound inside Dr. Watts' mouth. Come think of it, maybe I do. Did he actually give me a freebie on that one? Oh my god, he did! He didn't actually take it away! Here, here, everybody gets one! Alright. Gada! <laughs> Dr. Watson and the witness did indeed drink the same water. But don't think of the water. Think of the main differences between the people who drank it. So I'm wondering where the, the burn actually comes into play. Was it like, oh, 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 oh. He, he drank the poison, it paralyzed him immediately, his arm fell down, and started burning on the plate, right? So... He, because he couldn't move. What differences do you, do you have in mind? <laughs> Cure only becomes poisonous when it enters the blood through a wound. Thus, if a healthy person ingests it, it's entirely harmless. However, if it passed over an open wound as you drank it, what do you suppose would happen? An open wound? Yes, for example, maybe a certain someone visited the dental clinic. Maybe he had a tooth removed. Ah! Ah! Ah, quiet slam. Giselle, you mentioned it a few times. You were aware that Dr. Watson had his tooth extracted. Ah! Then the witness used that to her advantage. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, God. It's about to get cray-cray. 
Why is she laughing? Since we've come this far, I shall reiterate what I said earlier. Truly, this is like a child's game. A mock trial filled to the brim with naivete. L what do you mean? This is what I mean, little boy. Uh-oh. What accident am I before this precious evidence you handed over so carelessly? D don't Allow me to teach you an important lesson. Oh my gosh, she's actually gonna do what I said she was gonna do. <laughs> oh mine, bye! Well, this is what we get for handing the evidence to the person who did this. Boom! Oh, there's any water left in there? I think we could drink it all anyway. Oh my, whatever will you do? Your precious little evidence is gone now. I guess I'll take a sample off the floor, right? What? What? Ah! What? What just happened? The bridge has smashed the ball to pieces! It's a trial by a stream call! What kind of disgrace is this? What are you doing, bailiff? The hell are you doing to say on your ass? No, I'm sorry. Am I, am I, am I relevant? Am I relevant again? Or, I'm sorry. I mean, a uh, nunny? Quickly, retrieve what water, whatever water you can immediately. A futile effort. This carpet is a gift from the British Empire. Just quite the fine job of soaping water. Your methods aren't advanced enough to collect any. Safe to say, it's impossible. <laughs> I'm just got to wait till you pee it out, lady. <laughs> how, how could you do this? You... You won't get away with this. Well, no matter how hard this little boy cries and slams his desk and points his big old finger, we will never find out whether or not the bottle can take poison for the rest of eternity. You... You monster. But on the other hand, the evidence that supports my claim yet stands. Isn't that right, Sir Prosecutor? Yes, yes, you speak in this photograph, of course! That is right, anyone sees this photograph would agree. The poor doctor was sitting with his back turned to me. And the only one who could shoot the victim from the front is this little boy. Yeah. Here's what really happened. On that day, you used Kyurei poison to, to poison the victim. Following that, in order to pin that crime on Ryunosuke Narahodo. Ah, God, another gun! Awesome! You took action when you saw him picking up the pistol from the floor. You drew your concealed pistol and shot the doctor's corpse. Then in the ensuing chaos, all you had to do was rotate the chair around with the body. With that in mind, you're still a suspect! got quite an imagination, little boy. Is she still talking to me? I can see the pistol. I shot his corpse. There's no evidence in the world that can prove that. Exactly! As long as there isn't any evidence, the prosecution's stance will not change. The victim, Dr. Watson, was shot by Runa Skidar Hutta! The fed is the one and only suspect! Gah! Darn it! This is absurd! Thought I had this bitch! We've come so far, and now she's going to get away like this? All we can do is watch as she destroys evidence for her own gain? Maybe I should hand her this evidence. <laughs> hey, can you probably see the resources? Yeah, sure, here you go. <laughs> no! No, no, no! no. Uh-oh. Oh, a bird! No, no, no. Uh, Sogi! I've helped you come this far, but now the trial is in your hands. Huh? Why me? We have lost our decisive evidence. Where now, if there are any final clues, it could only be... Within your mind! Within my mind, yes! Remember, you said you at least had your confidence in your own observational skills. But, but of course! I could just forget that I managed to overlook that flashy western diva. Think back to the moment of the crime. Remember what you saw, what you felt. The colors, and even the colors and the smells. Ah! Color, smells! What I saw and what I felt. In my balls. In my doodles. Even the colors. <laughs>